All right, so welcome to this 2,000 points game of Warhammer 40,000. It's Challenger Scorpion. We have a debut challenger on the channel. It's Paul David Gray. He has brought along his Astra Militarum, a wide variety of models. Uh, he's been given permission and has fully embraced the opportunity to bring some legend units as well. So we'll see some rarer uh, units of Imperial Guard in this game. Lots of vehicles. The Tyranids uh, have their big guns here. So a real clash of the heavies in this battle. So for extra content and to help support the channel uh, you can join us on youtube channel membership or on the patreon page uh, links for those in the video description below so for the tyrants it is a monster uh, heavy themed army it's crusher stampede is the detachment just some extra bonuses really for the monsters uh, so in no particular order we have the norn assimilator yet to really prove itself it does get gunned down uh, quite often we'll see how well it does i'm sure pulls up for the the opportunity to destroy it as well. Uh, then we have the Swarm Lord. Uh, for this turning force, he'll be the Warlord. Uh, we have two regular Carnifexes with Crushing Claws and Monstrous Siren Talons for those as well. Uh, squad of six Rabbiners going for the extra armor, not the shooting option with them. Uh, a Turvagon. And then the backline Heavy Firepower 3 Tyranifexes with Rupture Cannons here, anti armor. Uh, for the two units, including Magnetron here at the end, and then finally some infantry units here. It's three squads of Termigants, two squads of 20, and one squad of 10. And there's strangle webs in each of these squads, so two in each of uh, the 20 man squads, and then one in the 10 man squad. So that's it. It comes to 1995 points, no further enhancements being taken. It is monster heavy, but I think we'll be glad we brought the monsters to this game as we had to pit this tyranny force against a fresh guard army not seen on the channel before. So that's the list for the Tyranids. So Phoenix Swords and Autarchs have been allocated. That's the top two levels on channel membership. So we allocate you to models or whole units. You can follow a unit round in the game, see how it gets on, what heroics it gets up to. Or a quick and sudden death. Uh, that's going to happen quite brutally in our games. So add two kind of X's. This is Phoenix Swords, Lucas Brown and Amy Almo. Nate Miller's got onto the Swarm Lord for this battle. Uh, JP, we've actually put him onto this assimilator for this game. Adds uh, Mitch, not Keith or Rob, onto uh, the Turvagon. So it's going to be Mama Mitch uh, here in this game. And then three Terran Effects uh, here with Vagabond, BPP Wargaming, and then on Magnetron himself is Chris Kamiski. Then I have some Autarchs. That's the second highest tier. They get individual models. So we have Darth Windu. Midnight Miniatures, who's a Tyranny player. Then Ben Harris, Ite Miara, and Mike James. Those are individual models in the, the Raveners squad. So that's the list for the Tyranids. We'll take a look now and see what the Astra Militarum have in their army. All right, so 2,000 points of Astra Militarum. It's Paul David Gray, his debut on the channel. He has played a game over on James's channel, which you can check out about a year ago, uh, with his Astra Militarum Force, which is a different list to this one. It was, yes. Yeah, okay. So fresh list here. As Paul has a diverse and large collection of Imperial Guard. Painted though, right? It's painted. Yeah, mostly. That's good. That's all right. <laughs> all right. So uh, he's got lots of different options to draw upon. Uh, Paul says, well, can I bring some legends? Uh, he said, absolutely you can. There's some rare stuff here. 
great to see a variety of tanks on the battlefield some debuts as well we've never seen those on the channel before so we'll let uh, paul run through his lists all right so my two customers guards i've got gone a sort of split list because i'm i am building up the halo style list on, on the left um and unfortunately it hasn't got to 2000 points yet unfortunately so uh the steel legion side on the right uh is coming along for the ride as well uh, so if we start with the uh, Halo side first, we have uh, Caden Stenon, who is actually my Sergeant Johnson stand-in. He's actually the model for the Katashan Colonel. Okay. Has Pass Pistol and Power Fist. We also have a Primaris Psyker that's going to join the same unit of 20 Caden Shock Troops with double plasma, double melter, and two Bolt Pistol and Sergeant Chainsaws. Bolt Pistol and Chainsaw Sergeants, I apologise. Um... And then further back, some little bit of a, a proxying here. So I'm going with the Halo themed. Um, I've managed to get some sculpts of these uh, Warthogs, uh, which I'm using as a Legends option, which is a Taurus assault vehicle. So technically, the, these ones are armed with grenade launchers and hunter killing missiles. Oh, right. Uh, but they're only 50 points each. Cool. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't buy them as a squadron anymore. They have to come as one, one each. Going further back, uh, we have my only battle tank uh, I'm allowing myself for the UNSC uh, side of the force, which is the Rogue Adorns, uh, basically the Scorpion standing. And we also have, uh, sorry, I apologise, this is also armed with three heavy stubbers and two heavy bolters. I'm not going to the multi uh, thing today. I believe the main guns should be the main guns. Okay. Next to the Rogue Ball, we have two armor sentinels with Laz Cannon Sentinel Chainsaws. Uh, we also have a Tech Priest right in front of those. And his job is to make sure the Rogue Dawn stays alive. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> yeah. Going with the Steel Legion side, imagine this as a sort of a rescue force for this, uh, for the uh, UNSC Force Detachment. Uh, everything's able to be mounted up. Uh, so we've got the Army Commander at the front, uh, which is a platoon commander. With the only enhancement in the game, uh, Grand Strategist, which basically means he can give an extra order. Okay. He's got the command squad's got a standard bearer, a plasma gun, a medic, and a master fox. Them alongside with the auto cannon weapon team, uh, weapon squads, is going inside this camera right here. Then I've also got another two infantry squads with las cannon and plasma guns to round out the platoon. They are also going inside these two cameras. Uh, all the Chimeras and most, un unless the, the rules don't stay, either have, have a Hunter Killing Missile and a Storm Bolter. Basically, the models were built a long time ago. Sure. <laughs> uh, we also have in the back two uh, and more Legends choices. These are Medusa, um, Armageddon Pattern Medusas, but I'm actually using the Solar Xidia um, model for them. Um, these are the resin models before the plastics got released. Right, so these are resin then. Yep. Oh, not too heavy. Not too bad. No, not too bad. I think they I think got the, the Leon Russ chassis on the on the um sides. So that the the, the uh, side guards gotcha. are plastic. Yes. But the main in the middle is resin. Um on the right I've got going going front and back, I've got the Sandman Scout tank. Now, he's got a little bit of an interesting shenanigan. Um, he can actually deploy in your deployment zone if he comes in from reserve. Okay, cool. If if I do that, quirky. Yeah, two hellhounds. They are the Ford, the old Forge World hellhounds. Um, no special rules for them anymore. They've actually taken them out of the um, rules entirely. So they're just basic basic hellhounds. But I like I love the models. And the last at the back is a Malkador Annihilator with two Laz Can Sponsons, a twin Laz Can Turret, and a Demolish Cannon front. <laughs> oh. And you've covered your enhancement. Yep. Cool. All right. So, and there's. Uh, uh, like also, yeah, one more tech priest there. Uh, his job is to keep the mouth alive. I see. <laughs> Still fully employed here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So that's the list. Great to see uh, this Astromed Time Force. And as we've seen, some legend stuff uh, being used for older sculpts. But uh, Paul's uh, brought them along and formed up a 2000 points list. So, Phoenix Swords and Autarks have been allocated. So a treat for some of the autarchs here, put them onto buggies. So Casper Kempf, Sam Hermes, and Noah Storolassi, they're each going to have a buggy uh, here for this game. 
Phoenix Lords. Oh, there's another Altark. Where is he? Valen uh, El Sorno. He's going to be a tech priest yeah. uh, here for this battle. Down this end as well. Yeah, this is Phoenix Lords. So Valen and Field Marshal Roberts. So I thought we put him in command. I've knocked that banner down again. That's the second Stop time. Stop keeping my guys for the start. <laughs> <laughs> Field Marshal Robert uh, here will be the overall commander. Is he going to be like your warlord? Yeah, he's going to be warlord. All today. right, cool. yeah. All right, so he's in charge. Uh, then we've allocated other Phoenix Lords to vehicles. So Ray Cross, I know that Ray's been painted up a rogue Dawn, so put him onto this one here for this game. Michael Fryer and Longbow BB onto the Medusas. Uh, the Malkador is Paint Liquor's Paint Pot. And then we have Marfisto and Ben Shaw onto the Hellhounds. And then Dillamore, one of the Altarks, who so put him onto the Salamander uh, vehicle for this battle. So that's the list here for the Astro Militarum. Uh, it's loaded up and ready to go. We'll take a look at scenario and deployment next. All right, so we have a scenario all marked out for us on the board. So it is priority targets is the mission, search and destroy is the deployment zone, and the mission rule is supply lines. For supply lines, if you control your home objective, then on a four plus start of the command phase, you pick up an extra CP, which I'm sure both sides would be glad to have. Search and destroy deployment is fighting from one corner to the next. Tyranny deployment is across here, uh, marked out like so. Uh, no man's land on either side and then deployment zone for the Astro Militarum and across the other side of the table. There's five objectives on the board, one dead centre, then two more in no man's land and then a home objective, each one over there and, and then uh, in pulse deployment zone and then one here uh, for the Tyranids. So for the mission, for priority targets, uh, turn two onwards, the end of the command phase, the player whose turn it is scores five victory points for each objective marker they control up to ten. So really, turn two onwards, you're looking to control at least two objectives to max out on your points. And then there is a points grab at the end of the battle. Uh, for each objective marker worth five points, up to a maximum of 15. So survive will be key here in this game and to camp out on as many objectives as possible to rake in the last amount of points. And then both of us going for the random draw on secondaries. So this ball's been marked out very clearly for us. We are using uh, gaming aids from a group called Objective Control. They're currently running a Kickstarter. So the project has already met its goal, uh, but it's still open, you can join in. Uh, Kickstarter's great for promotions and combos and deals and so on. Uh, as this gets ready to launch, this is a chaos themed set. As you can see, they're also done a jungle themed. There may well be more sets as well, and possibly a Strikey Scorpion 82 objective set as well. So. There's all sorts going on here. They give you these gaming aids, such as these deployment zone markers, which look really cool on the board. Uh, they sit nice and flat as well, so we'll keep these on the table for the rest of the game, so we'll know where the deployment zones are, which is very, very useful for like secondaries and so on. Uh, and then uh, these objective markers, that gives you the size of the objective and then three inches out to the edge, so we won't need to measure uh, for who's in control of the objective. You'll just be able to see who's on top of that. All of these markers sit dead flat on the board, uh, they're transparent as well, so you can see through to the design of the battle mat underneath. Also using their uh, footprint set for buildings. So we've combined some together to make L-shapes, but those are spread out across the board. So we're going to run these as obscuring ruins for terrain, uh, and it means we've just been able to use some terrain just to mark that out. Uh, but we know our boundaries here thanks to these uh, clear markers on the board. They're fingerprint scratch resistant. Anti-glare as well, which is great for filming. There's no shimmer coming off of these, which is great uh, for the video. Uh, and then on top of that, these sets, they come with little markers that you can use. So Battle Shocked, Guided there for the tower, minus one to hit, plus one to hit, uh, plus one to wound, feel no pain markers and so on. Again, they're in really nice clear markers and sit dead flat on the board, so not too uh, intrusive in the game and also they do these as well. So these measuring markers, which are very useful. You've got one inch, two inches for unit coherency. You've got a six inch marker. You've got a three inch marker here as well. And also, uh, which is quite important, a nine inch for the full length of things like deep striking distances and so on. So again, uh, this just cuts down on the need and the use of the tape measure, which can be highly disputable. Uh, but for these clear markers, it just really helps to keep things fair, things clearly marked on the board. Uh, and a very useful set indeed. So you can check them out, kickstart in the link below, uh, and you can join in 
uh, for the campaign here for objective control. So that's the scenario. That's the terrain. We'll now start alternating placing units on the board next. All right, so the battle mat and terrain that we're using in this game is from gamemat.eu. So it's the Hell on Earth battle mat, six by four. We've marked off the edge with these walls. You can get this one in the 44 inches by 60 inches for regular games of 10th edition 40K. Also using the Hive Walls set uh, here. So that one set, we've still got spare bits, but that one set has done all the runes uh, here, which they're all stackable, they'll come in individual pieces. So they're great for setting up like corridor uh, battles, uh, ship, fleet games, where you're going fighting through narrow corridors and so on. I'd also use it to create the wall across here just to mark the boundary of this board. So you can check out gamemat.eu for supplies of battle mats, all shapes and sizes, pre-painted terrain sets, lots of variety there as well. Link below, there's also a discount code that you can use for 11% off across the store. Okay, so deployment is complete for both sides. Tyrion's finishing a bit ahead of the guard right here, but not too bad. A lot of stuff's inside transport vehicles, the Astra Militarum. So... We have a back line of firepower support, as predicted, really. The three terrain effects is positioned here, as Megatron just tucking in uh, behind this ruin. Then uh, Mama Mitch is here. So she's gone behind the ruin, and then the 10-man squad in the 220s to her left. Later on our deployment, uh, we just put these in the face of the guard here. So two Carnifex is ready to move out. So turn one's going to be... Uh, it's quite important here to see who goes first. Well, the word. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, it's Swarm Lord and Assimilator sheltering as much as they can behind this ruin. Although if the guard maneuver, they may well be able to catch these. We'll see how that works out. So that's deployment done for the Tyrions. The Raveners, the squad of six, has gone into reserve. And then for the guard, so deployment for them. Uh, the buggies are the first to go out. I think mean, the clear objectives is to spread out onto the three objectives. Uh, so one here, one over there. I'll maybe call out the drivers here. So that's Sam, Sam Hermes. Casper Kemp there in the middle. Then Noah Stora Lassie on the left. Rogal Dawn here in the middle. Sentinels just out in the front, which have a two-up armor, say, which I think is insane, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, the two... Two Hellhounds across here, getting ready to move out across in this direction. Malkador, the producers with their indirect firepower. Not as long them. as the Basilisk, unfortunately. Not as far as the Basilisk. They don't have the heavy keyword either, so often no. going to be hitting on fives. But as we're saying, as the time goes on, they can grind their targets down. The large guard squad across here. Uh, tech priests with their employees. With their employers here, so yep. that one and that one. And, and then the Chimera... Cluster Intrude, across so here, yeah. yeah. And the HQ, I take it, is this one here? Yeah, the one at the back. Bit at the back, okay, fine. That's deployment done. Uh, and then Salamander, uh, with its ability to scoop right the way around, has gone into reserves. Yeah, all right. So deployment's done. Going to ask a stupid question. Want to go first or second? I think at this point I might want to go first. <laughs> same, same here. Uh, we will roll up. I'll take my trusty Xenos dice. And whoever gets the highest will take the first turn. Four, two. Not a four. <laughs> okay, so, well, you've got a lot of stuff, so yep, we can't true. kill everything. We'll do our best. We'll go on to the first turn of the game. Terrians have their heavy guns ready. I've uh, got some scout moves to do. You've got some scout moves to do as well. We'll do that, and then we'll go on to the first turn of the game for the Terrians. All right, so turn one, movement for the Terrians. There's been a fair bit uh, here of units pushing forwards and artillery getting into position. The two cards drawn is deployed teleport Homer, uh, which I reckon we can do. The kind of X's are one of the kind of X's in the middle. Uh, overwhelming force, destroying stuff on objectives, which is pretty much going to be the Rogal Dawn and the infantry squad behind. Uh, so the Rogal Dawn can be a target. I don't think we've got enough firepower to take it out, though. Just one of the terrain effects has got into position and line of sight to shoot at that. Uh, but anyway, we've pressed onto objectives. So roll a six for the assimilator. So it's dashed 16 inches across in this direction. It's got behind this piece of terrain. So that's worked out well for the Tyranids. The two kind of is this one's made an eight inch move and a possible charge. This one has advanced and got onto the objective. It can still go for the secondary because its weapon is an assault weapon, so it's still eligible to shoot and therefore can do the action. As Swarm Lord rolled and didn't roll high enough to make a dash across, so just tucked him into this position, just replacing where the assimilator was. Uh, shifting across, 
And with this turn effects, this is the BPP Wargaming one. It does have a view to the road called Dorm. You got that tech priest, though, haven't you? He's gonna... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they used to have moved out to here with line of sight through and to the Hellhounds and beyond. Maybe it's looking tricky though. I don't think I can see that Malkador. Uh, and then, as planned, small squad sits here. The other two squads are going starting to filter across over to the left-hand objective. No need to move the Turbagon. And this squad rolled high enough to just tap onto that objective of three models. So that one's been captured as to how long they can hold it for. Uh, so Paul may well decide to, to burn it out with lots of flamer attacks coming through. Then... That is it. So, so far so good for the Tyrants. Moving out, firepower support in position. We'll go on to shooting phase next. Before we cover shooting phase, just a quirk in the rule. Not a quirk in the rules, but something we've picked up, or Paul's pointed out. Uh, there is a rule that says you can't... You get your normal CP at the start of the turn, yep. and then you can get up to one bonus CP from whichever source it comes from, but you can't go beyond that. You can't start farming lots of CP. Uh, so, for example, I rolled up for the mission here and did get a 4 plus for my extra CP, I've also got an ability for the Swarm Lord, who gives you a CP at the start of the turn. If I dump a secondary, I can get a CP, but I can't stack those up. I can only get it one extra CP from one source, and that's all I can do. So I sh could have had three, but I've got my normal for the start of the turn, and I've harvested one, and then it stops at that. So it is on the it is written in the command phase on the app as well. So if you're looking for where that rule is, yeah, it is on the app on uh, on the command phase under Battle Shock. After the battleship phase. Okay. Yeah, so it's in the rules. It's fine. All right. And uh, well pointed out by Paul. Okay. So, very technical. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's his reputation. His, his tech marines maybe have pointed out the, yeah. the, the technicalities of I, the rules. By the way, this rule here. <laughs> Sorry, I can imagine. All right. We're going to shooting phase next for the Tyranids. Right. We've checked line of sight and range. Both these can see the Malkador. Uh, across that direction, we see the front part. It's the height of these we can uh, see across and over the top of those two hellhounds. So we'll do them as priority. I think the idea is to charge with the Carnifex. Don't want to destroy its target. Uh, so we'll shoot with these, or at least we'll start with one. So we'll go with Magnetron first of all. So we'll power up. Paul's seen this thing in action on the, the battle report against James, but we'll we'll get excited here and... Start activating some magnets. Uh, I'm going to try and deactivate some of the excitement as well. I'm going to go smoke launchers. Oh, you got smoke? Yep. Cool. All right. <laughs> Most guard vehicles have smoke. Okay. The counterplay. Yeah, no, well, you've you've committed, so I'll, yeah. I'll have yeah. to commit to it. So we're both going to burn a CP on this one. And so I've gone for, this is Crusher Stampede. People are saying this is a rubbish detachment, but I, I like it, especially with the monsters. But uh, Swarm Guide is salvos for a CP on a monster from your army in the shooting phase. It hasn't yet shot. Uh, going to get Ignore's cover, which is going to be useful, and also ignore all modifiers to the ballistic skill and any modifiers to the hit roll. So we're going to fire without interruption uh, here, ignoring cover as well, just countering the smoke coming through. So uh, Paul's, Paul's just checking if it was just for Megatron, which it is. It's just not an army-wide stratagem. Okay, so carry on. <laughs> right, so here we go. We are looking at the Rupture Cannon. Two shots. Cool, we've got to go Patronic on this one. I've got to get these hits. We'll go Nate Miller. Tyranny player. Two shots. Needing threes. All right. It's all down to this roll. One hit, one miss. Okay. All right, yeah. Just the one. We'll try and wound. Uh, coming through at strength 18. Toughness 11. Toughness 11. Threes to wound. Got the wound. I pr probably could have and should have re-rolled that hit roll just for the stratagem in use. But anyway, uh, the one comes through. It is AP minus four. I have a save. Six up. Yep. Take it away. Almost. Ooh, so close. Almost. almost. <laughs> Feel free to make use of Patreons. There's plenty no, of I'm, Imperial I'm good, players. Good, thank, you, thank you for the offer. I've already used my CP, so I can't do a CP reroll. Fine. Damage then is straight up to 2d6. Nate Miller says, not bad at all. Eight damage coming so through. Ten left. There's plenty of wounds in that thing, though. Ten wounds remain. All right, so that's Magnetron. Not too bad. If I had have rerolled that hit roll, right? Just yeah. want to know. 
would have missed. Ah. Okay, right. So I'll rinse and repeat. Stinger Salvo's out of range of, of anything. Uh, so we'll just go for the Rupture Cannon into that Malkador. Same again. Be here on Forza this time around because you've got the minus one now. Yes, your strategy is going to continue on on your vehicle. Yeah. Uh, so now you're getting these benefits. We'll go for Carl Roden on this one. Another Tyranny player. Uh, so we're looking at fours. Two shots on fours. We're hitting the miss. You should be okay now. We'll go for a, a wound on a three plus. All right. So minus four, but we've covered this time. Yep. So uh, let's, see, let's see what we've five got. Five ups. Uh, Nicholas Lucas is a Astro Militarum player. Who's the Death Corps guy? Uh, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> Sam Hermes Cadians. That was a Death Corps guy. I was, I was thinking, ah, the Hallam Field Marshal. Of course. Uh, yeah, he's Val. Uh, he is. Uh, Helen at Ice Warriors, but there's yeah. plenty of options. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's go with the dice. Oh, sorry, before you roll the dice, he said something. He told me, caution, don't use for something that could be negative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. He's going to put the so, dice back. <laughs> no offence, mate. You're going back. <laughs> let's go with the Admech guy, thinking, you know, mate, I oh, know, you that's two in the guys, and he Dave Humphreys. It doesn't matter. Use yeah, him if you I can use the Admech guy. Dave Humphreys. Ho hopefully the Admech guy might, it might uh, save my vehicle. Five plus. No, Apparently not. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Apparently not. Right. Two uh, d six damage. Okay, go for it. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> One wound left. <laughs> God, dear. Oh dear me, you can laugh or cry, dear me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive, just about that clings on with one wing left. That tech marine is going to be busy. So I could command reroll the damage, but that was a real good score, so we'll leave it. So we'll do a what if I had a rerolled. Eight. One less, actually. One less, I'll have so, two wings left. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to fire, we'll leave him to do the central secondary, and then we'll go for shots into the front chimera or the uh, hellhound. Uh -huh. So it's got the bioplasma. It's just D3 shots. It's not that scary. A shot, which has missed. Well, there you go. No. That is it for firepower. There's nothing else uh, available. You've got the other tyrannic tyran tyran here. Like, do you want to look at the rugged one? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Okay. So we'll go for this one. Uh, two shots in the rugged dawn. We will turn to a Xenosy friend. Jordan Russell. This one, Eldar player. Two shots and threes. Gosh, hit and miss. Every one of these has been a hit and a miss. Well, it's 50-50. 50-50. A wound does come through. So no cover at all. I've actually got into a position where cover has been scrubbed. So six up there. Nope. No. And damage of 2d6. Rupture cannons, they're finding their mark. And they're causing damage. Yeah, three. 15 remaining. I need to save it. No, 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 save it, save it, save it. Uh, so you can just take that damage. That's fine. Okay, so five power finishes across there. We actually resolved some off camera over here with these. Uh, one devastating wound from a strangle web and a failed save from a flesh borer caused two wounds on the buggy dropping down to four wounds left. That shooting phase finished. We've got one charge here for the Tyrions. We'll see if this uh, Carnifex can make it in uh, to the Hellhound. Have you used a CP? I did. You smoke on just. Right, so no Overwatch uh, here, and we'll see if we make it in. Okay, it's a seven inch charge. We'll guide it in with, we'll go as an angry kind of fix here, Ray Cross for the charge, seven inches required. No, duh, or oh, come on reroll. Come on, eight, yeah, in she goes. All right, guide it in. I was saving that CP for my, like, tank shock ability with the... Oh, yeah, the, get the crusher. The yeah. yeah, but it's a shame. All right, but she's had to uh, be coaxed, guided, encouraged to charge in, uh, which the Carnifex has, thanks to the Ray Cross reroll. Doesn't want to open the cans. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can crack this one open. We'll go on to resolution here. So uh, it is built for close combat, primarily, this one. So, Carnifex taking a crushing claws. So, four attacks and even fours. We'll continue on with the Ray Cross dice. Let's see if we can get these hits. Uh, yeah, three hits coming through. Okay. 
Uh, strength of 12. Ooh, tough and thin. Freeze. Freeze to wound. Da ah, one. AP minus three. Do you get any rerolls on the Kyphax at all? Don't think so. Just blistering assault, which is okay. that extra move. Okay. And that's it. In yes, case... rerolls come through for me uh, if I start taking damage. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, which is uh, unprecedented. So, Hellhounds apparently also have an arm save 2+. Plus. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, five up then. Happy gas mask. Block Six it. Up. What did you say? Happy gas mask. Death Call Creek does. Yeah, I see. Is that the right way up? Oh, it's that way up. Sorry. <laughs> right, that's the that's the symbol for sixes. Well done. All right, so that's the ones there. <laughs> got it. No, it's blocked. So we're now going to go for the extra scything talons. Two attacks, neither fours. And they have missed. Carnifex has done nothing. Scratching at the side of the vehicle. I get some sacks back. Go ahead. Three if, you, if you cause a wound, it's going to be <laughs> humiliating. <laughs> but then again, you also get you also get the abilities as well. So, so three attacks. Hitting on the fours. Where do you want me to roll? Just anywhere. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. One with the happy gas mask. Okay. Uh, to wound, I'm strength I'm sure for six. Fives. No, no okay. All right, combat's finished. End of combat's end of turn. I, I have completed deploy teleport homer for three points of that kind of fix in the middle. Overwhelming force we've kept because it's killing stuff on objective. So if I leave it as it is, uh, it means that when Paul moves out to objectives, anything he puts on objectives, I could try and uh, bring in points for. So just to make that a bit more spicy, uh, there's a slot for a fresh secondary to come through. Three points in total for secondary, so three points to zero. Tyrion's off the mark of. A few points coming through. Time for the Astro Militarum to, to breathe and to expand out of this restricted deployment zone. I'm sure they'll be on the move with multiple units here. It's time for them to take the fight to the bugs. We're going to turn one for the guard next. All right, so turn one here for the guard. Just before Paul gets moving, I should have covered it uh, at the start of the tyranny turn, but the scout moves were made for the buggies. So one moved out to here. This one actually backed off because Paul knew the Tyrians were going first, and the other one moved around uh, across in this direction. That's why they're outside of their deployment zone, some of them. Uh, and then Battleshock was passed for the Malkador. That's been done. Yep. And then Paul can restore some wounds and start his move cards drawn as well no prisoners and area denial as well we'll let Paul make his moves of his force so movement for the guard uh, they pushed out to a degree but they're not going to be reckless uh, they'll move out steadily to lay down a blanket yeah. of firepower as they go uh, so this buggy was sheltering in here yeah. moved out first Brent has got the order take aim as well from the command party okay uh, so that's the reason why he's moved there to get extra support there sentinels also have take aim as well they've moved out hopefully to take on either this kind of axe or this kind of axe down here. Mm -hmm. Got the Rogal Dawn here. I had to move him to get more firepower through the channel because unfortunately my problem zone is a little bit narrow <laughs> on, on the uh, <laughs> defiles. It's the warmer end of the board though. Yeah, with the, yeah. With the volcano. Um, Hellhounds pulled back here to get our combat because the last thing I want to be is in combat with a kind of axe on extra turn. Mm -hmm. The other Hellhounds come around here with, with his Inferno Cannon 18 inch range to hit the bugs. The, the buggy has got that objective as well because he's also got his um, grenade launchers as well, which is blast, which that's got a lot of uh, yep. bugs in the squad. Malkador stayed still. 
Um, has been healed to two wounds back from the tech priest hiding behind him. And the tech priest also gives them a four plus invulnerable save as well when they do that. Nice. So he's he's uh, that's that is that was the reason why I went first turn, especially for that. Wow. Uh, Medusa stays still as well, hopefully getting those lethal hits on the uh, bombarding. Um, Chimera's pushed through here, it's got a Laz Cannon and a Plasma Gun in, inside it on the infantry squad, so maybe they can get, support their firepower as well. Command Party has also got the three Autocannons Cannons in the back of that as well, so find some Autocannons Cannons out of that one. Uh, hopefully, and the infantry squad, the Cadence Shock Troop squad here, has got two Plasma Guns in there, maybe they can uh, lend some firepower in as well. Alright, okay. A lot of talk of firepower. We'll see how effective it is. We're going to shooting phase next with the guard. Right, going to kick off with the buggy, the one that's moved out onto the objective over in the corner. So we're going to go the HK missile that's that's on the buggy into this kind of axe here. Oh, right. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And then the grenade launcher that you get with it. I know it looks like a minigun, but there are rules issues. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll go fire frag into the uh, turbulence. Yep. So, scrub, scrub that one. We're just talking about the blistering assault move. Got to be careful with these car fixes. Ideally, need to bring them down so they don't get a chance to do that. So, Malkador will kick yep. off. Okay. So, unfortunately, I am wounded uh, quite heavily, so I'm hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. But it's got a lot of firepower, and, it's, and if I roll sixes, it's lethal hits. All right, fine. And I presume you're going into this? Oh, yes. Okay. You could now use Valhall and Marshal Robert. If you wish. Yeah, Some, we'll go for Marshal. Something positive. Yeah, something positive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Malkador is ignoring cover. Yep. It's okay. one of his abilities. If you if you have in half range of any of the weapons, you, it ignores cover. Go ahead. So we'll go with the Demolisher Cannon, which is D6 plus 3 for a... Oh. Hello. <laughs> That's a 9. 9 shots. Sixes will be lethals, which is useful. Yep. So, let's see what we get. So, unfortunately, a few misses because unfortunately, because also wounded, the fours also miss. That's a lethal. Yep. And so those two hit. Sure. We are strength of fourteen. Toughness nine. Three's to wound. That's a four, and that is unfortunately also four. Okay, three make it three. Which is a minus three. Five ups to block. Do we block two? D6 stage. Go ahead. Two. Two. Okay. We will drop down to six wounds left. Okay. We have two last cannons. One, One hit. One hit. Okay. Strength of 12. Three's to wound. No. no. Twin last cannon. One On shot. Nina five. Nina five. Gets the that does hit. Yeah. Because it's twin links, can re roll the wound. <gasps> like that. <laughs> illustrating it for us. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that happened. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, and I just got, it has got Hunter Killing Missile as well. Oh, use it. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah, for might it. as well use, it, use and abuse it. That is an also a wound. And lethal, yeah, <laughs> yep. good for you, right. Uh, Minus three. Five plus again. No. D6. Uh, oh, you won't get a six. Oh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Scary dropping down to two. Anything else from that Malkador? No, well, I, actually, I have got Stormbower. Go ahead. <laughs> It is, it's, I'm, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, I admit. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, am I in rapid in fire range? Surely you are 12, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, five. That's a lethal. <laughs> it's got a lethal. Two up, no problem. Oh, close. All right. I'm going to make a blistering assault move. Of course. That's in the hell house. Three, yeah, looks like it. So five inches in total, straight ahead. So yeah, contact has been made, but regular shooting, not blast, but regular shooting from vehicles can still go into that kind of effect. So it's not safe, technically, uh, in close combat at this stage. But interesting development. You've antagonised the thing, you've provoked it, and it's surged forwards, but gravely wounded, just two wounds left. Uh, just pointing out, that's taken me outside of Aerodinal, just 
uh, points out there for Paul's secondary, which he has. So that would be really good for you if you can then kill this kind of X, yep. uh, which is going to turn to the Rogaldorn. All the heavy stuff is going to go into this kind of X, and all the Daka, things like the heavy bolters are going to try. And heavy stubbers going this heavy way. Heavy yeah. stubbers going into the other kind of X. Going for the double kill of the Rogal Dawn. That'd be a, uh, possibly. Possibly. possibly <laughs> a great thing to do. Uh, Aha, turning to Patronic Friend. Yeah, let's let's go with Blood Angels Ryan. <sighs> okay, there's plenty of Imperial support here on the Patreon page. So we've got the big um, pole, the Oppressor Cannon, which is D6 plus 3. Also for nine shots. Nice. Who just did that? Blood oh, Angels Ryan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I have moved, so no leaf hits this time around. Okay. But I am hitting on fours. Which is five, four hits. I think we covered it already, but all wounds restored by the tech priest is doing his job. Uh, I did only get two wounds back on the map, although, which is a shame. Okay. <laughs> I am strength of 12. Three to wound. And that is three wounds at minus two. Oh, three wounds, bit of cover. Minus one, three ups. Ooh, one gets through, whatever your damage is. Three damage. All right, take three damage. Dropping down to five wounds left. I've then got a pulverized cannon, which is D6 shots. <laughs> oh, it's tempted to come on, reroll that damage just, oh, to be a, just to be a pain. Because it's an easier save to make. Controversial, but yeah. Da! Burn a CP. Right, okay. Carry on. Pulverizer. Four. Really? Wow. <laughs> it's maxed out again. Um, so apparently I'm getting lots of shots, and thank you again, Ryan. <laughs> it's a dream here. Really. So your fours? Good. Can you get the hits, though? Unfortunately not. <sighs> Two make it through. Two make it through. So strength of nine. Three's to wind. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe. I'm tough on this nine. I am. Fours to wind. Fours to wind. Got one four. All right. This one's minus three. Not blocked. Three damage. Dropping down to two. And the last thing on the heavy side is the auto cannon. Okay. Which is three, three attacks. Fours. And this one, no, this one here's some threes. Okay. According to the profile. Take it. And that's all three hits. Okay. Um, fours to wound. No. Yeah, none. All right. None. None for me. That's a shame. Almost got him. I'd, we'll turn to the heavy bolters next. Yep. So two heavy bolters. Uh, hitting on again four, no, hit, hit on fives, I'm guessing, because you're in combat. Uh, minus one to hit rolls, yeah? Yeah. So fives. So, ooh, that's a lot of fours that have missed, but because yeah. it's a heavy bolter, it's sustained. Mm -hmm. So I get three hits. Fives to win. Fives to win, indeed. One, one. Could, minus one. Which could be enough. A three. We start at two, so we're okay. No, you're fine. Heavy stubbers. This kind of X is proving to be a bit of a torment here at this stage. Rapid fire range, because they've got 36 inch normal. Mm -hmm. So that is 18 shots. <laughs> so that's nine. So five. Uh, take out the misses. Remember, people, always take out your misses. Okay. <laughs> and imagine if that was lethal hit. A lot of sixes. <laughs> um, and your top is nine, was that? Mm-hmm. So six is to win again. Oh, no, no. dicky bird. Oh, it's bounced off. Dear me. Right. Still options, though. It's not over yet. And, both... uh, and you can have the option of surging. Yes, we'll do a little surge. Four. Oh, I don't think that's going to make no, it. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, four inches takes us around to here, so not making close combat. All right, and it's only once per phase you can do the surge move, so uh, it's, you're safe from close combat at least uh, with the buggy. All right, so we'll press on. There's more firepower options. It's not quite over yet. No. Nope. Still a chance to bring these carnifexes down.
Yeah, good move. The buggy's going to put the grenade launcher into here and hunt a killer missile to try and bring down this complex. Imagine one of the uh, crew members of gold, gold missile launcher is going to fire out, out from the side. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. That'd be exactly the situation. So we're going to hunt a killer missile first. Uh, Nina, four. Nope. Duh. And that's the one you've got. Okay. Um, and then we'll go with the uh, 2d6 shots into the brood. Is that 20 man brood? It is, plus four. So, only eight shots today. Okay. So, force to hit. Hmm. One. And to be fair, I've had quite a lot of luck with, this, with the amount of shots I've had already, so I'm, I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> uh, strength of three? Four these days. With the grenade launchers. Probably four. With toughness, three. Three's, three's it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Okay. That that said that really, didn't it? So working our way across, we're going to this Hellhound, Hunter Killer Missiles, going into this Carnifex, and yep. then all the Dacca going this way. To the gaunts. Fine. So Inferno Cannon, 2d6 shots. Auto hitting. Right. Seven. Okay. Strength of seven. Twos. No, strength of six, sorry. So still twos. Twos, yeah. So, five wounds and no cover. No cover and the minus. Uh, I had to do that. <laughs> minus two. Nothing I can do. It's going to burn through my armor, so I'll just remove five casualties. All right, so thinning out the conga line here, but still as uh, in coherency. Hey, Volta. Yep. Fours. Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. Threes. And, yep. Minus one. one. I'll put it on a model in cover this time. And still not saved. Yep. So model removed from here. I've gone, had to take one from cover. Okay, and then we'll go HK missile from him into him. Yes. Just keep getting rid of the model at <laughs> this point. Fives. Fives indeed, because you're in cut. Nope, none for me. <sighs> <laughs> I think you've been getting your hunter killers from James. The... Yeah. <laughs> they, they... When, when you call them a missile, they miss. Right. Paul's going to turn to his artillery. It's the closest Medusa to us. It's that one over there. Heavy Volta can see the edge of that Carnifex. And then he's going to go indirect fire to try and take out this one. So Heavy Volta shots first of all. So. Fives again. Fives again. That is stained and lethal. Fine. So I get, another, I get one to wound. Yeah. Five plus. Which doesn't wound, but it is that is a lethal. Passed. Worth try. <laughs> yeah, it's two damage, isn't it? So yeah. we go. Medusa cannon over there. So d6 shots for one. <laughs> I was just about to say debut shot. Yeah. First time ever on the channel. One shot comes through. Well, new model syndrome. <laughs> That's true. Doesn't hit because it is an indirect. Ooh. Okay. Um, Rinse and repeat with the other one. Yeah, we're going to do that the same. Um, yeah, headbolts can just You're good, yeah. get in there. So we'll go headbolts first. Change size. <laughs> headbolts up. One hit. That also wounds. Well done. Can you find a chink in the armor? Yes, he can. No, that is a kind of fact down because it's two damage. Two damage. I was going to say command reroll, but I'd used it earlier on, so I'm dead. Do we blow up? We don't. Finally, one final screech. Carnifex has been destroyed. That's Amy Elmo's Carnifex removed from play. Paul will be, Paul will be glad to see it gone. And two from the prisoners. Uh, picking up points as well, yep. Secondaries, well done. And then go for glory. Yep, The see if I can kill the uh, Carnifex in the middle. D6. I sense that was coming another one yeah. that's been rolled. <laughs> Do I hit? No. no. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Carnifex removed. That was the infantry squad equipped with the two plasma guns. One of them finding their mark. Uh, supercharging at damage two and yep. been destroyed. This is uh gets hot. No. Nope, I'm absolutely fine. Yeah, that's hazardous test. Passed. Good for that guard squad. Well done. That's just these guys over here. It's this squad here. Found the gap. And sent the plasma shots through, taking down the Carnifex across it. No deadly demise. Distraction Carnifex is 
They have been. They have been a distraction, <laughs> but they have been dealt with now by the guard, clearing at the centre of the table quite significantly, really. There's this gap has now opened up between the two forces. All right, so Sentinels now, instead of going here, can now direct their attention uh, deeper into Tyranny Lions. So going after this, Terran FX. So two last guns. Or oh, your squad, yeah. Yep. So roll up. Um, don't know, it's quite clear. One hit, one miss. One hit, one miss. Both Triple doing. 12. Uh, yeah, three, fours should be absolutely fine. Yeah, should be I 12. think I'm toughness, toughness 12. But fours you needed, fours, fours you got. Yeah, got four. So minus three. Minus three, minus two for cover, four up. So four up, save. No. D6 plus one damage. Go ahead. Oh, come back here. Seven. That's seven. Yo. <laughs> a fine hit, as Gimli would say. Uh, we're looking at dropping down to seven. You said I'm going to drop down to nine wounds yeah. left. That's a good strike. Anticular missiles, two yeah. shots. Not bad work here for the centaurs. One hit, one miss. One hit, one That's miss. The hallmark of this game. Mm. So strength 14. Three's to win. Wounds. Yes. Minus three, minus two, four up. Yeah, we've just we've backtracked and discussed the rule because the Rogal Dawn has something similar. In fact, I think the Warden's virtually the same. It's the ability here for the Terran effects. We've had this discussion before. Uh, Paul has a way that he plays it, which I, I think sounds correct because he's pointed out here the, the wording of it. Once the battle and attack is allocated to this model, you can change the damage characteristic of that attack to zero. So Paul plays it is that when you know what the damage is, you can then say that now becomes damage zero. Uh, as he said, it's fine. Because it's one power, power ability as well, which yeah. makes sense. So if you've got the ability, i got the ability. We'll play it Paul's way. That's fine. Uh, in which case, he's allowed me to say, yeah, I'm going to scrub that seven damage yep. that came through. Um, so now we're down to this hunter killer missile wound. There's two, there's, oh, yeah, down to the one wound. So it's minus three. A four up then to block. Yep. I have blocked, blocked. it. Oof. Right, so what I need to do is I need to mark her as having used that once per game ability. Yep. So we'll turn to the buggy. Hunter Killer Missile and Grenade Launcher is going to go into the Terran FX. Because uh, I, cause I um, did take aim as well, this one's hitting on freeze. Fine. Hunter Killer Missile. Hits. Hits. Good. Do I wound? No. No. The Grenade Launcher, I'm using firing crap this time around. Imagine it being high explosive rounds coming out of the uh, chain gun. <laughs> Sorry to keep, keep, keep knocking on the uh... <laughs> stones. Stones. So if one hits, do I wound? Because I'm only strength nine. Tech priest will sweep that up. That is a wound. Minus one. Saved. Ah, well. Start on two up. Um, at the moment, I think, and I might get some subsid some some secondary fire in, but. I think most of my other shooting is out it's, of line of sight. I was going to say, yeah, stuff it's, over here yeah. has now lost its lost original its target. target. All right, so I had shooting phase finished. Chimera firepower coming across, took out a few more gaunts. Uh, still about a dozen of them left from that squad. And that's the end of shooting. Obviously, no charges to take place. So no prisoners coming through and Eridanar uh, picked up as well. So we'll give you an update on the score. Yeah, so both cards achieved for four points and for five. So nine points to three, guard are ahead. They've cleared away the first wave in the form of the two card effects. Tyranids will then say, well, that was our distraction, uh, which it has been a distraction, but there's now this gap that's opened up. Tyranny firepower as intact here at the back. We're going to switch over to our turn. We'll be able to unleash another salvo, but we can't just sit at the back. Uh, here and try and blow away all these tanks. It's going to take about 10 turns to do that. So there's, <laughs> we've got to push forwards. But now with more limited options, we've lost the two card effects. There's these two to send in, but do we commit them now, risk losing them, and then leaving the guard just to go for a mechanised surge across the table? That's the danger. So Tyrions have some decisions to make, how aggressive they go. Perhaps it is in their instinct just to push forwards, uh, but that could be a well-laid trap here. Uh, for the guard, we'll go on to turn two, coming up next for the Tyranids. So movement for the Tyranids. Uh, we've pushed one of the Tyranifexes forwards. We've kept the other two back. They have targets and going to try and benefit from their heavy ability. So plus one to hit rolls. Gaunt spreading out a little bit here, just watching the back. But I think we're pretty safe just with these for now anchoring. 
Turbogons move round to keep up with the Gaunts who surged onto the objective. The idea is just to flood that out and to hold and then restoring five models back to this squad that took the damage earlier on. So back up to 16. Uh, Raveners not arriving, don't really need them at this stage. Overwhelming Force and Aerodynars, the secondaries in play. We've moved the Assimilator out. It moves quick enough, 10 inch moves. So it's gone straight into the face of the guard across here. Order six uh, for the Swarm Lord who's dashed across here and has now taken the place uh, of the Norn Assimilator. Really working as a tag team uh, here. One moving forwards, one moving across. It's the second time that's happened in this game. And that's about it. Two CP gain, one for the regular start of the turn. And then having him on the table gives you an extra CP straight away. Very, very useful indeed. All right, we'll go on to shooting phase next for the Tyrants. There are plenty of options. There's our big guns at the back, primed and ready to go for a second time. All right, so we'll take the Vagabond dice from Patreon onto Magnetron and try and take out that Malkador there at the back. Paying the CP for this smoke. Yeah. Paying the CP to cancel it out. <laughs> History repeating itself here. Had to do it. Had to do it, yeah. Just uh, bur burn through one of my CP. Um, so we're looking at two shots. Needing twos. Oh, good job we sat still. We yeah. do get the two hits this time. Threes to wound. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on, reroll. Didn't want to use that. Darn, it's failed. Magnetron has failed. Something's wrong. It's alive. <laughs> Do you have any magnetized bits on that tank? No, no. I don't. Oh, right, well, there, you, <laughs> there you go. We, we fired at a. What's, what do you call something when it's non magnetic? Um, non conductive or whatever. Yeah, it's non conductive like. metal, I believe, is the terminology. <laughs> or non, non noble metal. It's. Uh, its hull is made of aluminium. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or uh, silver. Silver or gold. Silver or gold. Okay. <laughs> if you have the money, fine. Right. So, failed with Magnetron. Oh, that was, should have been a straightforward kill, but it's not happened. All right. We'll turn to the assimilator. We're just going to harpoon that buggy, try and get it out of the way. <laughs> if we can. So, okay. we'll, we'll shoot with the Toxin Jack to harpoon. Uh, we'll turn to Michael German for this one. So it's working out at two shots with the toxic toxin jack to harpoon. Right. 12 inch range, two shots and in twos. Come on. Oh, missed. Come on. No. Wow. <gasps> right. Nothing I can do. Uh, just, by the way, our option we've gone for is sitting on objective of five plus, feel no pain, and objective control of 15. That's the option we've gone for uh, for this game. Uh, so we're now looking at, if you're toughness six, yes. twos to win. Goes through. Right. What's the AP? Minus three. Oh, no save. Four plus save. D6 damage. Plus one. That's S gone. Seven wounds. Popped him. Deadly, <laughs> Deadly demise. No. No, all right. Nice clean job in the end. I think that's one of the all talks. Yeah, it's one of the all talks. Casper. Uh, Kemp. Kemp, that's one. Yeah, all right. Target Sorry, destroyed. So I, I show you why this was annoying. He should have killed the Malkador. It now leaves that as a target. <laughs> uh, it should have been dealt with. See, I've got two turn effects left. I can try and triangulate their firepower to take out the Rogal Dawn. I could try and finish off the Malkador across there. Uh, I was to try and take down some of the Hellhounds because they're going to have barbecue time over there. So just disrupts things. And I've got to make sure I get some kind of kills and damage across here against the guard. If these tanks remain and I get another volley towards us, it's going to cause trouble. In which case, I need to think about this. So before we come to these big shots across here, we'll see if we can just rinse that buggy down. So I go with Big Mama here at the back. Uh, so her shooting is the Stinger Salvos, eight shots, then threes. Just going to check if she benefits from her own lethal. No, it's only for time guns. I think she hits on threes. And toughness six, we yep. said, so five's to win. You've got three. Okay. No minuses, normal armor save. Will I get cover in that? I think you will. Yeah. So you can go up to a three up. Go up to a three up, yep. Not that it helped much. <laughs> two, <laughs> two, two sneak through. Two sneak through, I'm down to two. Down to two, all right. Uh, in which case, we will offload everything from... No, we'll split. The ones in range will go into the buggy. This unit's snaking across yeah. here. And the big cluster at the front will go into the Hellhound. 
No, what we'll do is we'll fight fire with fire. So the two strangle webs <laughs> will go into the hellhound, at least a bit of torrent of their own. And the rest of the squad, which will be 14 shots, will go into the buggy. So 5, 10, and 14. We get lethals. We get lethals. We get a few of them. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, need fours. Fives to wound. Yeah. Strength fours. Strength five. Strength five. Yeah, five to wound. Uh, nothing. Just so down to the lethals. Uh, five saves of I normal. Won't, yeah, I won't get covered from that. Not cover this time, that's right, yeah. So. Four ups. I'm dead. Got him. And does he detonate? No. All right, target destroyed. And, and unfortunately, Sam Hermes, your vehicle's gone up in a blaze of, well, not even a blaze of glory. <laughs> okay, perhaps th just the shell left behind and the crew shot to pieces by yep. the, the infantry. 2d6 auto hits. This is the torrent. Just five. And when he sixes for our devastating wounds. And we get one. So one devastating wound cause on the lead hellhound. That frees up this squad, all the ones in range going after the Hellhound, which is going to be 14 normal shots, and then two of the Strangle Webs again. It's pretty much the same model count as last time. So we're looking at sixes of lethal. Yep. Fours for hits. And then sixes for wounds. That's it, just two normal saves. No saves. Okay, and then the Strangle Webs. Seven auto hits. And searching for sixes, and we get one. So another down to nine. Down to nine. Okay. All right. So we'll go what we've discussed. So it's going to go try and take out that Mal Malkador, try and prey on prey upon the weaker unit. I've used up all CP. No kind of extra help stratagems. We'll go with uh, Stinger Salvos into the now lightly damaged uh, Hellhound. So threes. Followed by sixes, two sixes, normal armor saves. So twos. Twos. Both sixes. Okay. All right, here we go. Rupture cannon. Ah, longbow BB. Here we go. We'll turn to a professional. <laughs> As a sponsor on the channel, he runs, if you're into airsoft, check out his website. The link is in the video description below. Uh, because longbow BB is highly accurate with his firepower. Okay. Oh, 50 Most 50. of the time, 50, 50. <laughs> So we're looking at threes to wound. Yeah. Duck, come on, no, he's failed. He's bouncing off this armour. Wow. And I think that was my last chance to take that Malkador down. Because the other one's got, I don't think it's got line of, ooh, no. might do. Unless... No, we're playing obscure. Yeah, playing obscure. So we, oh, are, just, out, we yeah. are out of it. Malkador will live. We will not kill it this turn. No! So it's Rogal Dawn for this one. Uh, it's not ideal. It's on full strength. It's very unlikely we'll kill it, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. Uh, so this is BPP Wargaming. Two shots, then twos. All right. That's that unusual. Threes <laughs> to wound. Die oh, again. Failed with that one. What can you do? Four plus in vulnerable save. Because of the tech marine. Tech priest. Tech priest. No. No. Okay. 2d6 damage. Three. I'll let that go through. <sighs> okay. Yes, because you have your ability where you can choose to... Yeah. Yeah, why why block something that you will repair next turn? I understand the logic. Very logical across the other side of the board. Tyranid uh, bio attacks here, really struggling against Imperial Armour, just whiffing with our dice. Well, to be fair, this one last turn, <laughs> I, I was clutching certain things. Straws, definitely. <laughs> Close. Close. So, yeah, it should be destroyed, but it's gradually been repaired and by a miracle has survived another turn. So the Tech Priest will continue the repairs and let Malkador to get it back into the fight. So well I done. Don't the machine's pan. <laughs> Doing their job. We'll go on to charges next. So one big charge uh, here with the Norn Assimilator going into the Sentinels. I'm going to charge here to further complicate things. Rogal Dawn's going to overwatch. Why wouldn't you? Go ahead. All right, so back to the uh, template again. So the oppressor cannon, a little less shots this time around, five shots. Okay. Hit on sixes, because he's so much. Yes. No. The pulverizer cannon for four shots. Mm. 
No. None for me. The auto cannon. Ooh, only two shots. My apologies. Nope. The heavy bolter or bolters. None. And the heavy stubbers. All bar two dice. This is gonna be the one that hits. You, you know. <laughs> Not, not a single six. <laughs> Charge. Oh well. Nine inch. Easy. She goes. Right, it's non assimilated. It's not quite. We checked earlier on by a few millimeters. I can't squeeze through, so I've tapped in as far as I can to get as close to that objective as possible, but not quite on it. <laughs> Ideal situation for us to destroy targets and shift onto the objective. We'll see if this works. So, again, I've got no CP available. Non assimilator. We're going to attack with the, hmm. We'll go with the extra attacks first. The, the Harpoon. Right. Four attacks, then twos. We'll definitely commit this to a friend. Give me someone that's super close combat. Haven't they pretty much all been used up here? Mm, Travis and Jen. Tyranny players. So we'll go Jen with the Toxic Injector Harpoon first. Then Good twos. Way. Ah, two ones. Okay, anyway, right. we're then looking for, I think, two to one strength 12. Oh, three no. to wound, tough to eight. Tough to eight, all right, fair enough. Two right, do two go, go through. If minus three. Five. Five is to block. One oh, block oh, will do oh, it. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so D6 plus one. Okay, roll them separately, because they've got seven wounds. First one. So that's five. Five. And that's one's dead. All right, target destroyed. Does it blow up? No, it doesn't. Okay. Support and then we'll really go yeah. this one. Okay. And then uh, the Travis attacks will be six attacks with the monstrous scything talons. Need twos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a couple of ones again, plagued by ones. Sixes don't mean anything, sadly. Strength nine. Oh, freeze wound. Freeze wound. Oh, boy. All four. And minus two on these ones. Okay. Um, Blocked three. Blocked three, wow. Well done. I was not expecting that. All right, so three damage. So you're down to four. Okay. Okay. Fine. You can attack back with a little chainsaw thing. Uh, so the Sentinel Chainsaw has three attacks. Okay. Weapon skill four, strength six. Ooh, let's get that one that way. Two hits. Two hits. Now, surprisingly, I didn't forget, I didn't actually realize this. Each time a model in this unit makes an attack that targets a monster or a vehicle unit, I can re-roll the wound roll. Fine. So, I'm guessing I need fives? Fives to end, yeah. <laughs> Not that I needed it. <laughs> He's going to get me, yeah, yeah, go on then. Yeah, so one's one uh, AP each, one damage each. Pass, starting on two. Ah, well. oh, I thought it would have been a bit more significant than that. Mine's... It's, it's, it's only a sentinel chainsaw. Just for cutting <laughs> down um, foliage. Yeah, <laughs> going through the jungle. All right, so combat's resolved. Both sentinels, just one destroyer, not both in the end. And on simulator making its attacks. And I was kind of stuck there, really. I can't go any further. So uh, halted at this objective. That's it for the turns. Low impact from them this turn. Their firepower's not uh, just making its mark. We will calculate points here for the Tyrians as they finish their second turn. All right, so end of turn. Not too bad for the Tyrians. Ten points for primaries. We did control that one at the start of the game, the command phase, and this one. Uh, so that gave us our 10 points. Three points for Aerodinar. Three points for Overwhelming Force because we destroyed the buggy over on the objective across there. Uh, so we're looking at a total of 19 points to nine. Not too bad here for the Tyrians. Uh, the Guard are off. Objectives are just on the ones. One. So they will get their five. But we've got to bear something in mind for this game. And that is that there is the point scrub at the end of the battle. Yeah. And so Tyrians, we are right to be careful about losing too much stuff. If the Guard can just weather the storm... Add, and then move out to objectives later on the game, they can snatch victory. So there's not too much panic at this stage. Only turn two coming up for the guard. So we'll move on. Firepower for the guard remains, much of it intact. Tyranids nibbling at the edges, but yet to reach the core of this guard force. We're going to turn two for the Astra Militarum, coming up next. Thank you. 
So we went for the Astro Miller time, tricky one on secondaries, capture enemy outpost, uh, and then behind enemy lines is the two cards. Uh, but guard pushing, surging towards the middle of the board now, a bit more confidence uh, about them, but they need to clear their way. Same as the Tyrians need to clear their way as well, which we have failed to do, see if the guard can uh, accomplish it this turn. Cadians pushing forwards, big squad, Rogal Dawn getting ready to unleash its firepower. Chimera here, heavy weapons team has disembarked. Yeah, the, the, so the command squad stood inside the Chimera, but the uh, heavy weapons team has disembarked. Okay, these two will sit and bombard. Yep. Malkador's moved out, had some wounds restored back up to four. Yep. And then these two Hellhounds move around, still their jobs to burn out this objective. And then this Chimera's pushed forwards and disembarked with the squad, captured the central objective. Then come around this side of the table, the Sentinels backed out a close combat with a toehold on this objective. Chimera and Buggy around here. And then electing, at, yeah, at this stage, not to bring on the Salamander. Salamander. Yeah, because the back line's a still clogged up. Okay, so we'll go on to shooting phase next. Yep. So we have gone for it. Rapid ingress. Raveners have turned up here, dropping in uh, at this point in the game. Getting ready to move out, potentially. And trying to hide them as best as we can, or they're not completely hidden from some of these guard units. So shooting, plenty of options for the guard. But we are actually going to go for the little guys first. We're going to go for okay. the Cadian shock troopers against the non. Simulator. Simulator. All right. So Cadian squad is a mixture of options, firepower. There's a cycle in there in range. Got some plasma guns in rapid fire as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So what we're going to do is going to do cycle first. Uh, have, you, have you had cycle on your channel yet? A cycle. Yeah, primary psycho. I think so. I think James runs one. Okay. So I'm going to do psychic maelstrom focus switch fire. So it's an 18 inch range, which is in range. D6 plus 3 attacks. Hits on 3, strength 6, AP minus 2, 2 damage. But it's also blast, devastating wounds. Okay, hazardous. And psychic. If I didn't want to do the hazardous one, it's just D6 shots. Okay. So let's go for D6 plus 3. For 7. Hitting on freeze. Now, because the Castellan's in the squad as well, it is sustained. Fine. <laughs> so, let's go for it. Go. None. None. None sustained, but I do get three hits. Okay. So, any sixes is devastating. Um, and yeah. apparently not. Okay. A do, I, do I blow up my brain? A psychic whiff. Nope. Yes, I do. <laughs> Okay, no. And Bye. that was the end of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will uh, discourage the men. <laughs> to, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> to, to have the brains of the outfit self-destruct here with psychic might. Perhaps he was all ready to try and take on something, perhaps his own size psychically, but then when the target was pointed out, had a bit of a, an overload. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, so we'll go for plasma guns. So fours to hit. No, three to hit. Because yeah, of... rapid now. Yeah. So that's... That's sustained, sustained, so yeah, that nice. goes in. Okay. Five to um, Yep, yeah, five to wounds. I am overcharging because that's a big thing. Uh, nine. Nothing. Whoa, okay. And two. That's not good. <laughs> two hazardous rolls. Yep. Do I blow up these guys? No. They're okay. Uh, Last guns, we calculated off camera. Two saves. Oh, we sneaked one in. Right between the eyes, a wound caused on the normal simulator by a las gun. So no feel no pain for us, not quite on the objective. The plan was to be there, but nope. So down to 15. So we'll go next with the auto cannon heavy weapons at the back. Right, yeah. Cannon shots. Six attacks for the entire squad, hitting on fives, because they're guard heavy weapons. Uh, two hits, strength of nine. Life's to wound. One at minus one. Uh, cover in between, back up to a two. Yep, fair enough. All right. right, switching over to this side of the board with the 
hellhounds. Quite straightforward. Just purge that objective. I really like some tasty termagants in the morning. Okay. Tastes so, like chicken. Yep. 2d6. Nine <laughs> shots. So it's nine hits. Nine hits, yeah. Uh, I believe your toughest. Three. three. Two's so to burn. Two's to burn. Well, this is going to be efficient. So one doesn't go through, so that's eight. Casualties. Eight minus two. Yep, eight minus two, yep. Yeah. Yep. So eight casualties removed from the front. Hey, Vault's coming in. No. No hits. Okay. Decisions for the next one. Same target. Same target. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you roll well. The wipeout is possible. That's seven. seven. That's still pretty good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Two's for kills. They are built to cremate. So unfortunately, that's five dead. Five slain. Five, wasn't it? Yeah, five. Yeah, dead. five removed, down to three left. Hey, Volta. This is really good. So it's really good news because you've got four slain. hits in total. <laughs> So freeze the wound. Yeah, freeze to wound. That's three wounds three. minus one. Minus one, a single six to keep one of these bugs alive. Or is the wipeout's gonna get happen? Well done, you got them. Squad destroyed. Mission accomplished. Burning out of that objective. Well done. <laughs> you can shoot him. Uh... You struggle with ballistic skill. Just get torrent weapons. <laughs> All right, no nonsense now. Rogue will dawn point blank range everything it has into the non assimilator. Unfortunately, I have moved, so no lethals. Okay. So we'll go. We'll go. We'll go for small arms first, and then go up. Okay, it's going to go up the scale. Yeah. To a rising crescendo. That's the one. Heavy stutters. Eight hits. Yeah, wounding now. Wounding. So shrimp for four. Toughness of lots. Eleven. Yikes. That is still two wounds. Okay. Blocked, so far. Heavy bolters. Yep. That is three hits. Okay, five, uh, six is to win. Six to win, indeed. One win. Uh, two up again, I believe. Uh, minus one, so three up. Pass on a three. Water scan. Oh yeah, no, no cover, of course. Yeah, go ahead. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one. Three ups. Oh, one sneaks in. Three damage. Three damage. All scan. Okay, dropping down to 12. That was a good result. Pulverize again. Nicholas Lucas, by the way, for firepower. Uh, the dice being used from Patreon. Six. Oh, Thank you, Lucas. <laughs> Just as you call their name out, they, they bless you with <laughs> the maximum. That's three hits. Okay. This is the strength nine one. Strength nine one, so five. Five's to wound. Yeah, two. two wounds. At minus three. Minus three. We've got to block something. We don't. Don't you have any mumble safe? No, the simulator does not. That's the thing about that one. Oh, really? It does okay. not. It's a bit strange. When it goes so three three. damage each, that's six damage. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it did have any one, but it doesn't. It's just... Sorry, I'll what? check, but 99.9%, .9 it doesn't. If you go for the other one, the Norm Emissary, it does have a 4 plus 7 honorable save. That's why I'm probably getting wrong. And then the uh, the big gun, the oppressor cannon. To finish off. D6 plus 3. Can you imagine this thing writhing in pain up against the wall six. here? Six. Shot, six shots. It's, it's sort of like the cool firing squad it's sort of tactic. <laughs> this is good. That's four hits. This is good. Threes now for the main Three's gun. Yep. That's all wounds. All wounded. Minus two. <gasps> all right, roll one at a time for your pain and mine. <laughs> Passed. Yep. Doesn't. Failed. That's Failed. Good. Dying. I'm dying. Oh, we're going. We're going. <laughs> Go ahead. Three d six damage. No, three damage each. <sighs> <laughs> Nothing I can do other than blow up. No, a clean kill. The big bugs splattered against the wall. The Norn Assimilator is no more. JP, there's the model. There is a full painting tutorial for this on the channel. I'll also show you how to do the basing. If you like the basing for this model, check it out. How to paint the Norn Assimilator. It's one of the latest painting tutorials available on the channel. But there it is. Not that I've really encouraged you to buy and paint one of these. <laughs> just died. To be fair, it is a, is a fire magnet. Yeah. 
Okay. So, yeah. Target destroyed. Well done. Good shooting from the Rogue Order. Yeah, well done. We've been punished here for not taking out these armored targets. They're now blasting their way through these tyranny monsters. Okay, next. A bit of shooting. That's the question. Yeah. Now that's gone, a lot of stuff was lined up to take it on. Fine. Add Malkador's firepower into here. We didn't destroy it, so now I've got a chance to shoot back. True. And unfortunately, I didn't heal enough wounds to get me over the uh, Braxid mark. So it's, it's still five to hit. Go ahead. So Demolish Camp. Uh, so these attacks coming on to Michael Fryer, Space yep. Marine player. Uh, as you call out his name, I rolled a six. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Patreons are your best buddies. Uh, they are, apparently. Um, I did move you a little bit. Yes, I did. So no no lethal hits, unfortunately. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> Five hits. Um, oh, I'm lucky too. Uh, <laughs> strength 14. Three's to end. Apparently not. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So just the one in the end? Yeah. Minus three. As not blocked, damage of... D6. Okay, it's like six. Right, so I'll cancel that one out. Bear in mind, I have three last cannons on this beast as well. I'll cancel it out. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. Frustrating, but that's the rule. Rogaldorn's got one of those yep. two. So two, like, two single last cannons. Sure. Which... Hit a miss. That hits. That's a six. Yep. Uh, strength for 12, so... Freeze again? Fours. Really? I think so. Try and fix the other side. Toughness 12. Ah, fours. My apologies. Nope. And then the twin last cannon. That hits. Yep. Uh, this one I can re auto wound. Well Don't done. need it. Minus three. Uh, five plus on this one. No, you're in. D6 plus one. For ah, for seven. I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Down to nine. Well done. So the Vagabond turn effects is still very much alive, but it took a nasty hit there. Good shot coming through from a laser cannon. So we're on to producers. Uh, the number of shots has been rolled uh, here, which is two so far. So five. No, yeah, five to hit because you're out of line of That is one, and it's a lethal. All right, yes, that's still. Yep. That's one of the few things that did stand there, my way. Minus. It is a minus of one sec. Normally two. Yeah. So because I'm indirect, I believe you get the cover. I think I do. Yes. yes. So we've passed that one. So that would have been four damage. Yeah. We blocked it by a creature's whisker. Next. <laughs> You're not used to that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the other Medusa is going to go against your recently deployed Ravenous. Go ahead, yeah, sure. So D6, because it's blast, I get plus one. Uh, yes, for six models, yep. That's five shots. Okay, fives for hits. That's one. <laughs> Could be enough to blast one of these. Strength. Strength, 12. Oh yeah, twos. <laughs> That's a wound, minus two. Minus two. Uh, it becomes minus one. Because of cover, yep. Armoured 4x, it takes us to five up. <laughs> We block it. We would have destroyed one of the models. Okay. Okay, yeah, just marking up the artillery they fired. We'll yeah, press on. Anything I've fired, I put a token on just because I know I bounce back and forth. Sure. So we pressed on with firepower. Uh, shots coming from these vehicles. They could see the Raveners and have caused a total of two wounds, but not enough to slay a model. Two gaunts slain across here. Yeah, that's a crossfire uh, coming from the infantry squad that uh, disembarked from the Chimera. I presume no charges? No. Oh, actually. You could try and get the vehicle onto the... And tank shot the bugs. If you've got a CP... I've got two. Got two. Well, you could do if you so wish. I think I might, actually. Okay, here it comes. So we have resolved a charge, uh, followed by a tank shock, which has killed four. Really good result. And then now an extra pile move. Reckon Paul can still do it. As I've got one model in OC control, which is worth two. You're worth three. So that objective has actually been taken by the guard now. Uh, Paul can now do his attacks. Are you? A, I'm just wondering. Are you a blast weapon? No, you're not. So you can like sit in combat and just flame all over the place. Yes. Very cool. Very <laughs> cool. All of cool. Annoying that we're being barbecued, but it's cool. Okay. <laughs> so three attacks. Hit on fours. One hit. Okay. Strength for six. So twos. One wound. No AP. Uh, five plus. 
So there you go. Block it. Okay. So our attack's back. Leave which is only for shooting. Nothing at all. Alright. Combat's resolved. We made piling move. It's actually got back onto the objective. So actually snatched it back uh, with the flood of bodies going onto the objective. It's been contested here by the guard. Uh, they're fighting for that one. They've claimed the central one. They've claimed this one on the right hand side. So good work from them. End of turn, we'll give you an update on the score. This is quite a close game at this stage here. There's no real breaking point yet at this stage. Both armies still functional enough on the board. Tyranny casualties beginning to mount, and they're struggling to take down these guard vehicles. But we'll swing back over to the Tyranians. So that's the third chance for them as we prepare to go on to turn three for the Tyranians. All right, so uh, end of turn here. I had points coming through, just the five points for the control and objective. Had, and then Paul's dumped both of his secondaries. Going to go for the fresh draw next turn. So to update you on the score, Tyrians are actually still ahead. 19 points to 14 at this stage. The game's tight enough, uh, but Tyrians must break these vehicles. They've got another chance to do it uh, here. And also, bear in mind, yes, we're ahead by a little bit. Uh, there's an opportunity for us to go after some of these objectives, for sure. Uh, but really got to watch out for that point scrub at the end of the battle, turn five. So Tyrians need to keep that in mind. We've got to keep bodies alive at the same time. We've got to deal some death and destruction against this guard force, especially these vehicles. We'll go on to the third turn, the middle stage of the battle, uh, here for the Tyranids. So turn three for the Tyranids, cards drawn, pretty good. Extend battle lines, that's hold a home objective and grab a no man's land, which we're actually doing already. And then bring it down, destroy something big, so perfectly suited, these cards. Uh, so we'll go on to movement now for this Tyranid force. So if you enjoy our games to 40k, for more content, do check us out on YouTube channel membership. Membership really helps support the channel, enables us to create these battle reports, and as a reward, we're able to create extra battle reports exclusively over on membership. Uh, there's the link below, or you can go to the channel homepage, hit the join button, join us at Aspect Warrior level, unlocks all the bonus content that we create, uh, and all the members, whatever level you support at, is much appreciated, and really, it keeps this channel uh, going. You're able to produce this content thanks to channel members. Alternative, if you like the idea of a Patronic Dice, a name shout out, Join us over on the Patreon page, link for that below. So, moments complete for the Tyrians. We still have options, and I think we must act now whilst we have those options. So, Raveners have swung around here. Just checking them out. Yeah, 10 inch moves. They've scuttled across here nice and quickly. Swarmlord's moved around eight, poised and ready to charge the Rogal Dawn to revenge his big brother, who was <laughs> destroyed earlier on. As we've taken damage, right? So, we're on plus one to hit rolls. So, now there's incentive to actually keep moving this thing. So, we've moved forwards and onto the central objective. We don't hold it yet whilst those troops are there. These two have remained stationary. They have plenty of options to shoot at. Mama's moved forwards, moving around to here, uh, supplying four gaunts back onto uh, that close combat, which we've stayed in. If we back off, you could have overwatched us, yeah. I only learnt that the hard way against James. That's a bit of painful battlefield experience. Holding the line just here, and that's movement done for the Tyranids. So we'll go on to their shooting phase next. I'm gonna these uh, Imperial dice are really good. So I'm gonna take Sam Hermes, a Cadian's player. Sorry if I'm gonna put him onto Magnetron. And we're gonna offload our shots uh, right, it. right into the Magnetron. Smoke it again. Oh come on. <laughs> I've got to. <laughs> right, I've had I've had enough of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've been waiting for you to use the command reroll. So I'm, I've taken his ability. I'm going to curse that stratagem to make it cost an extra CP. So, the, <laughs> so the, next, the next time you do it, it's going to cost you two. <laughs> okay. You're waiting, and waiting, and waiting for the command reroll, but he favours smoke. So we'll try and add do a smoking. At least I've been using command reroll. A smoking ban here on this channel for the <laughs> for that stratagem. I'm going to spend my stratagem and get rid of that ability with the salvos something. Swarm guided salvos. So we'll stay at twos. Yep. Now come on. Sam, uh, Sam, how much? Yeah. So now we're looking at threes to wound. Every time. One on one. Yeah. Um, uh, Four plus in one oh, I need this for something else, right? Four plus in one. Yep. Go ahead. No! Oh, no! Uh, 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 come on, are you wrong? I think I'm nice at this point. No! Oh, <laughs> Just as it's too late for me to curse it. Ah, he's got it. Right. <laughs> oh, right. Failed. Well done. So we will do this one into the Malkador. And we'll put the Stinger Salvos. Stinger Salvos here at range, by the way, of everybody. These put Stinger Salvos into them. 
Okay, so two shots, we are wounded, so we are on plus one to the hit rolls. Twos to hit with the Vagabond Terran effects. We've got to do this. Has, it's now freeze. Because your smoke. smoke... Oh, man, I hate that stress symbol. Well done. <laughs> Trying to wound. Oh, we've wounded. Four plus? Yeah. Four. Oh. <laughs> just checking. I rolled a six to wound, but I, I, we're not devastating wounds, are we? No. That would be horrendous. It's <laughs> worth a check. <laughs> Malka, door. Sting salvage. Sting salvos, hitting on twos. Oh, the next one. Yep. Three swings. That's three, yep. Uh, six saves. Six saves. Is there any minuses? No. So, infantry squads have, and actually specifically infantry squads, not Cadian shock troops, Katash and Dunfires, all the others, just specifically infantry squads, have an ability called Defense of Humanity, which I get the benefit of cover if I'm on an objective. Pause. So, pause. Helps a little. Helps a little bit. Save one precious guardsman, but four slain. Regular infantry. Still keep a toe hold right. Just for your own calculations, my OC control is five. I've got OC of currently eight on that objective. Okay. So two, four, and that. Yep. Yeah, two guardsmen. The, the large base is OC four, so it's still under control at this point. Uh, Stinger salvos from Mama Mitch. She's on threes, though. And she's missed the most. Three to own. Two wounds come through. I'm Four. hiding behind the turbo on the, the, the yeah. <laughs> Four ups. Perfect. Four ups. Just the one. One makes it. Through. I'm going to get rid of the sergeant. Sergeant, yeah, just to keep those models on the objective. All right, so we'll go for another rupture cannon here. This is BVV Wargaming. Rupture cannons. Uh, it's Sting a sour is out of range of everybody just by a short by an inch. Uh, but the main rupture cannon into the Rogal Dawn, which has virtually all of its wounds remaining. It's on seven. and a full plus and vulnerable save. Oh, <laughs> I need lictors. <laughs> take take out these tech marines. They are an absolute pain, and I'm sure they're about forty five points. Something like that. Oh, they were so worth it. The invulnerable save is ridiculous. Uh, I'll really double check that actually. Right. Uh, forty five points. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they've been they really have proved their worth in this game so i can see i can see why you've taken them anyway we'll go rupture uh well right that's it we're gonna go for something random here chris comiskey the randomest dice in the galaxy looking for the not that yeah <laughs> twos. one comes through threes to wound really need this one if we can oh the agony of it all <sighs> so i'm gonna leave it i've got one cp i need it for something else so yeah uh, psychic attacks. We'll Ooh. go into that squad, try and reduce those down. Uh, so we're looking at Swarm Lord with his Synaptic Pulse. D6 plus three, Torrent. Mm. Ah, one. <laughs> we'll leave it. So four hits coming through. Uh, strength five. We're all wounded. Minus. Um, minus one. Ignoring cover, right, Torrent? Yeah, Torrent, yeah. So sixes. Oh, block two, well done. Two slain, which you'll take him and him, give you an OC of six. Six with that base. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah, frustrating here. This, this is big points at stake. It's five points each time. We'll go on to charges here. Frustrating round of shooting for the Tyrants. They've done virtually nothing here. Softer targets like infantry, yes, but main tanks, I've done nothing. No extra on him, no extra on him. No. Oh, charges next. Okay, from bad to worse here for the Tyranids. Uh, charge across here, fouled. Had to use up my precious command point, which I was saving for my tank shock type ability, but had to use it in the command reroll, which the charge did go ahead, rolled an eight, rolled a four previously. Ravners have swung to their left and gone after the Sentinel to try to focus on the objective. And then Big Mama tried to charge into the side of the Chimera, didn't roll high enough to get round to the Gaunts. Charge is done. Oh, and the one across here as well, the... Tyranifex charging into what's left of the infantry squad. We'll start with the Tyranifex. She's on powerful limbs, four attacks, threes to hit becomes twos. Ah. We'll try and wound on twos. Yeah, don't. One. AP? Minus zero. Five. You got a chance. 
Five plus, you're. Oh, do I get benefit cover for shooting for combat? No, I think it's only shooting, isn't it? Yeah, benefit cover, no. Yeah, so. no it's cool, cool, cool. You roll this, you get five, you get a objective. No, a okay. four. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Come on, reroll. What's, what's the damage? Damage two. No, can't do it. Come on, reroll. No, I've got no, no command points. <gasps> <laughs> boy, oh boy, by a again by a whisker, we control that objective now. All right, so we'll go on to the swarm lord, who's not going to destroy that tank, but we'll just chop away as best as we can. Uh, so we're looking at eight attacks and then twos. Then we're coming in at strength nine, five twin. Yep. That ain't half bad. And then we're twin linked. We got it. Thank you. <laughs> Failed. All right, so four make it through. And we're looking at AP minus two on the bone save. It's not that amazing. So four's even away. Yep. You have unsaved counts in close combat? Yeah. I actually decided to check it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, on the side blessing, vehicle uh, has four plus in bone save. Each more can be selected uh, once fine. the yeah, yeah, yeah. turn. It's fine. Yeah. Two make it through. Six damage in total. Ooh, ouch. So the idea was to soften him up with him, charge yeah. in, tank shock, and then him to finish off with something like six wounds. That was the plan. But the first two stages failed, just the third one. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Okay, down to 11 wounds left. All right, Raven is next. This is half of the attacks. That's half? Just half, yeah. Sixes don't mean anything, sadly. Uh, so we're looking at threes for hits with these. It's good striking, good hitting. Uh, it's five to wound at strength five. Top of eight. Five to wound. Twin linked. Oh. The who? <laughs> oh boy, that's made a difference. Oh boy, that's made a difference. All right, so the AP minus one, so we'll chip away a little bit at this ridiculous. Okay. Two armors, two up armors. So that's ten. Ten, okay. So I'm going to roll these now. <laughs> yeah. Ones and twos are after. Dead. What? Dead. One, two, three, four, five. Only got four wounds left. Oh, have you? We got you. I was surprised at that one. The one we're expecting to do. I'll take that. Fine. All right. Sensor <laughs> destroyed. Does it blow? Yes, it does. It does. And it's going to slay a model at least because of the wound that's being carried. Technically, it should be this one. That's just the way it was allocated earlier on. Just for that. Uh, it's enough to slay him. That's midnight miniatures. All tuck. Uh, the decapitator's in range to take some damage. So he will drop down to nine. A wound on each of these vehicles as well. So consolidated with those. We've done a combat across here. No wounds caused on either of us. Just swarming on the objective. And two guardsmen to... Yeah, the, the base, uh, base yep. Yeah. Uh, which is, hold up for, two attacks I believe. Yeah, two attacks then fours. One hit, near six, nope. That's it, All right. <laughs> and Pop. the Rogodorm. Oh yeah, he can do his attacks. This is the Rogodorm. Yep, and strength of seven. I've to wound. Two wounds. Passed no. on two fours, okay. End of turn, uh, Tyranids, have successfully grabbed all three of these. This is good in the long term. We'll give you an update on the score. So it's looking healthy enough for the Tyranids because of the, I don't know how long we could last on these objectives, but we're clearing and holding for a third turn. 10 points coming in because we held that one and held our home objective at the start of our turn. Uh, five points picked up for extend battle lines, uh, well and truly accomplished. And then Three points for that sentinel being destroyed. Two points plus a bonus for playing tactical objectives. So not killing the big stuff. We are raking in the points. We've jumped to 37 points to 14. Tyrants are well ahead. The Ashton of Time do have a turn in hand. Uh, they are going to pick up five points. They're hoping for another one, but the Tyrants have managed to wrestle away these objectives, at least for now. We're not killing the biggest that the Guard have to offer, but our nibbling continues and the points are coming through. Again, being aware of if the guard are able to deal with this stuff and then in turn they move out into these objectives and grab them and hold them at the end of the game to be a massive points grab as well. So the battle has not been secured by either side. So far, the Tyranids are ahead. We'll go on to the third turn now for the guard as they seek to level up. All right, so turn three for the Astromed of Time. Extend battle lines. So the orders have been given to retake those 
no men's land objectives. Investigate signals as well, just to get units into corners to scan, which Paul's done very effectively. So, buggy moving to here and scanning. Yep. Chimera disembarking with infantry uh, to flood onto the objective. Just readjusting these, make sure they're out of range, uh, but still keeping coherence. It's disembarkation and moves, so they've got plenty of space to do it. Uh, Chimera backing them up. Rogel Dawn has elected to stay in close combat. Um, okay, and then I think if you can clear him out of the way with other stuff, yeah, and then free him up to shoot normally. Uh, if you back away, then you're shut down for the exactly shooting. That. Uh, heavy weapons team, artillery at the back, Chimera's moved into the corner to scan. Yep. Malkador is battle shocked with a wound restored, back up to five. Yep. Uh, it's passing battle shock and then moving into the Chimera. Actually, failed, but, but passing is a different breakout. This chap? Yeah. Right, so he's battle shocked, crawled back into the Chimera. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I was in range because I know I know he was going to be further up. So. Yeah, uh, Chimera we've edged forward. Just so he's tapping into this. If that's destroyed, you can then grab the objective yep. and then across here, uh, seeking to push through uh, with this Hellhound. The other ones remaining in close combat. And Salamander's yep. turned up. He's in that corner, scanning immediately, seeking to pick up some points for the guard. It's all about points. Paul's trying his best uh, here to remedy the situation, but everything at the moment is revolving around the tyranny presence on these no man land objectives. We'll go on to shooting phase next. So it started off a firepower cross here whilst in close combat. Not a blast weapon, torrent blowing away seven of and the guns. The well. And then a heavy bolts taking out one as well. We've just rolled up the Malkador. Two laser cannon hits, one lethal, and then one went through to wound. Yep. So two wounds have come through. Minus three each. This is Chris Heim, firepower, another Imperial player, doing well so far. And minus three. Yep. I'm in the open. Yep. And I've burnt up my blob. My blob here representing the ignore damage. So there could be trouble here. Yep. Oh no, both go through. D6 plus one each. I know, I know, I know. Um, minus three, minus three, five. Oh, I keep burning these up for stupidity. <laughs> go, I'll use it again. Five plus. No, go ahead, do your worst. Chris Himes That's says, literally nine. Four. F seven. I'm hoping your maths is wrong. Seven. Plus one each. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Destroyed. Oh, God, boy. No. Go on, Vagabond. We've been cleared off the central objective. We're running out of options to reclaim. This, could this be the surge from the guard at the mid-stage of the battle? Well done. Target destroyed the Malkador, which we should have destroyed on turn one. <laughs> Has taken us out instead. Dear me, Malkador all the way. So, we pressed on with shooting here. Yep, yeah, so I think we did, already did the Hellhound here. Yes. Uh, the Chimera has also fired into Big Mama with the uh, Laz Can and the small arms went into uh, Swan Lord, taking off a couple of wounds, chipping, chipping off, and also taking some damage on Big Mama. Dropping down to nine. Uh, the infantry squad, the Cadian Shock Troopers also fired in their shots. I think I only took off some wounds of the plasma guns. Uh, again, chopping down some wounds. We're um, down to four wounds left in total on the yep. Swarm Lord. A couple of shots coming through from here, reduced at one of the Ravenous down to just one wound left. Yep. So all, all that side has now fired. What we have got left though is the Rogel Dawn and the two Medusas. So you chipped go. off three wounds from Ultra Cannon Team, remember? Oh, I did. Yeah. Yes. They were good. They can see through there, they can see into combat, yep. sat still, got heavy. Can, can you remember if I did any damage with them? I do apologize. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of firepower going through. So we're on the Medusas at the back. Yep. Now they have line of sight to here, direct line of sight. So their hunter killers and heavy bolters can go into here. Interesting. And then the bombard. Uh, going, going, that way, yeah. going to the Ravenous. This is a really good opportunity here. So what we're going to do, so we're going to do the hunter killer myself first. So using the Max Sword Knuckles dice yep. for this one. Hunter killer myself for glory. Hunter killer myself. No. Nope. Heavy bolter. Yes. No that is one hit. hit. Yeah. Strength of five, so fives. That is a wound, minus one. Toughness tender, I say. It is, so it's sixes oh. to wound. <laughs> All right, so how did that one need in the six? Yeah, so the Medusa into the guys at the back. Yeah, we're actually five models, so you're still getting your blast. Yep. One blast. So six. This is Needing good. five. Yep. But because I said still, that's a lethal. Straight through. Minus two. Minus two. Minus one cover. because you're getting cover. Uh, fives. 
Oh, four damage. Blasted, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's the wounded one gone. There's four left now. No, fair enough. Rinse and repeat. Rinsing and repeating. Right. Patreons will burn up, so stand to your... So, Hunter right. Kimmel's first. Actually, no, we'll go who got first. Okay. This is into the Swarm Lord. That's <laughs> three hits. Three hits. Six to wound. Six to wound. No. HK. Hunter Kimmel's... Oh. No. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Medusa. That is three shots. Needing fives. One hit. Strength 14. Two to wound. Yep. Five to block. Another four one damage. pulverized at four damage. Well done. So take off that one there. That reduces them down. That's half that squad. Okay. And the last thing to fire is the Rogal. Okay, the Rogal Dawn into the face of the Swarm Lord. Okay. I need. So the pulverized can is going to go over here. Yes, the blast stuff that's going to be allocated yep. outside. It has to go outside. Yeah. The uh, oppressed cannon is actually going to go into Big Ma. Yep. And then, because also I fired the Hellhound in, you don't get cover. Mm -hmm. And every spit of small arms, the auto cannon, the heavy stubbers, and the heavy volta into the sword. Sword. Lord. Okay. Are you having to destroy me, or are you have an ability where you're able to shoot out of combat? No. No, so as long as I'm I'm not firing into combat with the blast. Yes. Uh, I, you can't. You don't fire. In, you, you can still fire out of combat, but it's minus one to hit. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So wh whatever he shoots in that vehicle is minus one to hit rolls, and then blast weapons can be used as long as they're not shooting into a combat, either your own combat or someone else's. Yes. Go ahead. Whichever order you so wish. So we are going to go with the big gun first. Into Big Mama. Okay. D6 plus 3. 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> it was about time. Fives. That is an auto wound. For lethal, yes, that's still, yeah. Okay. And we'll try... Minus 2. Got in. 3 damage. That's all right, that is. Not half bad. So dropping down to 6 wounds left. She's in a sorry state, but she's still alive. The pulverized cannon into the Ravenous. Go ahead. This could... D6 be shots. 4-3. Let's see what we do. That's two lethal at minus three each. Minus three damage each. Minus three AP each. Straight in. Three damage each. Two dead. Well, well, well. That was uh, that was a good hit. That's all Tarks removed as well. Dylan, no, Darth Windu killed a Jedi, uh, and Mike James as well. When you, when you pulverize the Jedi of artillery, it can't be exactly defective on lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, heavy bolter. Or head vaulters. This is now going into the Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord, yep. So... Two sustained. Two sustained and two lethal. Yes. So... Five sixes for this one. No, nope. so they both don't go through. You're in. That's two damage. Two wounds left. This Rogal Dawn is lining itself up to destroy another monster here. Heavy stubbers. <laughs> <laughs> If you can get these wounds, I believe the heavy stubber is AP minus one. No, it's AP zero. Oh, it is AP zero. Oh. So three lethals plus two wounds. <laughs> so five. I'm too nervous, but let's only roll one at a time. Oh, no, we're okay. No, we're okay. We're okay. Auto cannon. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. <laughs> That's the coaxial, yeah, I can yep. see it on the turret. No. Doll missed. Ooh. Too cocky. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're on to charges at next. Shooting phase finished. So no charges across here, but ongoing combats. Uh, and then over here, uh, charging one mortal wound from a tank shock. Close combats resolve, lost a few more, but still managed to keep enough OC control that for us to control that objective over in that corner. The Hellhound's still battling away. Then... Uh, combat's resolved and no damage either way between these two vehicles. So struggling there with the blades, the twin bone sabers there of the Swarm Lord against the toughness of that Rogal Dawn. That's combat's resolved, end of turn. We'll give you an update on the score here. It's still going on at a tight scoreline. I think the Tyrians are still ahead. But Guard are managing to wipe out chunks of this Tyranid force, which will be useful for turns four and five. It's been a good turn for the Guard. Four, uh, five points for primaries. 
Then six points for the scanning going on in the three corners. Really good, just at the right time. And uh, then five points coming up for extend battle lines as well. Two no man's land objectives captured here. This is better for the guard. 30 points to them, 37 points to the Tyrians. Only seven points between these two armies at this stage. Tyrians running out of resources. They're certainly not out of the fight. They are still ahead. Have they done enough? Are they going to run out of steam at this stage? Are the guard going to surge? It's heading that way, I think. But if the Tyrians can... Maybe kill one of your tanks, because we still haven't destroyed a tank this game. We'll see how we get on. Turn 4, the latest stages of the game, coming up for the Tyranids next. Alright, so, moving for the Tyranids on their turn 4. 10 points picked up for primaries, still encouraging enough signs at the moment. Investigate signals, which is scanning in the corners. I think we're going to ignore that one. No prisoners, destroying stuff, kill things. Battleshock passed, failed on the Swarm Lord. And everyone else is okay. We've pushed these two forwards onto the objective and heading across in this direction. Uh, then we've gone for just constricting these a little bit. Uh, I, w I, w I had tried to roll up to see if I could get far enough for investigate signals, but failed, so pretty much sat where we are. Big Mama's pushed forwards and restored some models back onto that unit as we fight for that objective on the left-hand side. That's movement done. Shooting phase next. All right, so shooting phase for the Tyrants. Blundering here with these terrain effects. Is so shooting into here, pay to CP to ignore cover, ignore the minus to my hit rolls for shooting into close combat, and failed with this rupture cannon totally. Killed a guardsman with a stinger salvo. Then across here, as uh, failed to do anything to the Malkador, got a hit, and then failed to wound with him. And Stinger Salvos across there did no damage. So whiffed with these. These are meant to be tank hunters, but just poor dice run. There's other times when they pop stuff, no problem, but not today. Uh, psychic attacks from him, Torrent, coming across, taking mm -hmm. out some guardsmen across here. A shooting phase done, charges next. Charges taken place, Ravenna's gone in. Uh, it's Big Mama's gone in. We played ma Massive Impact and picked up five mortal wounds uh, against the Hellhound. We're going to combat resolution next. Balls normally then? Yeah, roll. then plus one to hit roll because of her damage. So we're using Mama's Crushing Claws. Four attacks, need fours, need threes. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, please, no. One's gone through. Uh, strength 12, threes to wound, yep. plus one to the wound roll because we're below half strength. She is mad. And of course, we roll a one. The Xenos dice, has something gone wrong with them today. <laughs> That's horrific. I just needed one or two to uh -huh. go through. Anyway, um, uh, this charger, seven attacks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, nice a lot of attacks, which they've all hit except one. Cool, he's in a shreddy mood. Three to wound, twin linked. And, oh no, just a three make it through at AP minus one. So three saves of six plus. But vitally, some models will remain. And poor retain control of that objective. Yep, Two right. slain. Two regular guards. Two regular guards, please, yeah. All right. Rogaldorn to fight next. Two wounds to pick up against so, the Swarm Lord. Force to hit. Ooh. Oh. I don't get the leaf wing come. <laughs> Five to wound. Five to wound. Two wounds. Two. Good for you. Oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, we're okay. <laughs> What's going wrong today? All right, dropping down to one wound left. We will strike back. The idea was to soften it up with five power from him, but nope. So we're looking at continuing on with eight attacks. Then twos. Come on. Oh, triple one. Oh, the agony. Five to wound. No. Oh, there's one. We are on... There's one five. Yeah. No, no, what I'm saying is... um, Yeah, no, what I'm saying is uh, plus one to the wound roll because ah. of my damage. So actually all those count. Ah. And we'll twin link this one for another one. So five come through. So decisions about blocking any of oh, these. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's 12 wounds left. So technically I could kill you, but it's only after you foul yeah, true. loads of saves. So let's go for it. Five four ups. Ooh. I will take I will take that um one as well now. So I'll do take six. Take six, six left. Alright. That's pretty significant damage, chopping our way through with the bone sabers, but not enough to destroy the tank. Okay, and that's it. There's some mm. units to fight back and some some minor combats, so we'll get those resolved. Alright, so combats, the rest of combat's resolved. No gaunts lost, but they managed to cause a wound on the furthest away chimera. Uh, Hellhound, sorry, and 
That's it. So, combat's resolved. Tyrion's have failed to destroy... Mm. Rogaldorn took one wound off the... You did, yeah. Drop me down to one wound left, so we're virtually gone. That's the end of the turn. We'll give you an update on the score. Okay, so points are coming through. Ten points for primaries, and that's it. Nothing for secondaries. Takes us to 47 points to 30. We're ahead, but you're going to get 10 straight away uh, for control objectives. And nothing for my secondaries. We've kept no prisoners for killing stuff and then dumped no signals or investigate signals. Uh, so 47 points to 30. We've gone to the turn four for the guard. Uh, so we will declare our Shadow in the Warp ability. Uh, so there's an army-wide battle shock test to try and disrupt these objectives if we can. We'll give you the results here as we go on to turn four for the Astra Militarum. So we're on turn four for the guard. There's battle shock all over the place here with this Shadow in the Warp. So buggies failed. Tech Priest... Rogal Dawn's failed. <laughs> shock troopers have failed. The Chimera's failed. The shock troopers have failed. Passed here, but these are stickies that would have been held anyway. Chimera in the corners failed. The Medusa's failed. The one closest to Paul. Uh, this yeah. Hellhounds failed as well. And the Chimera in the centre failed. The Chimera in the middle as well. So half the army pretty much battle shocked. We'll let Paul make his moves. So moving for the guard on their turn four. Engagement fronts, which Paul is very well placed in corners already, so it suits him just nice. And then overwhelming force uh, being drawn as well. So aside from the battle shock, as uh, backing off out of close combat, getting two vehicles onto this objective, looking to start securing objectives now for the later turns of the game and the final point scrap at the end. So Paul are optimistic at this point here that he can do it right at the end of the battle. Just one Ravener to deal with, one wound to deal with on him. Add units uh, manoeuvring now to get better fields of fire and range. The producers at the back, the one furthest away, moved yeah. around to get line of sight and range on this terrain effects. The other one is in range of Magnetron already. Malkador's push forwards with the Tech Marine in tow, or the Tech Priest. Uh, continuing to sit on the objective with the Chimera. Well, that is battle shocked. It, it's for next turn. It's for yes, next for next time, that's fine. As, and then we have the Salamander's going to and lend some firepower support, and the Hellhounds will blaze away with their flamers. We're going to come, uh, go on to shooting phase next. All right, so we've gone through shooting phase here. Ravenous destroyed quite spectacularly. It was the uh, Hunter Killer Missile to the face from the buggy. Then across here, the Swarm Lord brought down, the final wound being chipped off by an overcharging Plasma Gunner. Both of them then died. died. <laughs> Snake Eyes rolled and both of them died. <laughs> that in a blaze of glory, what a way to go. Uh, then across here, lots of shots coming through, just trying to pick off wounds from the Turvagon, but Fouch is still on six wounds. Uh, Think of Blaze of Glories, though. The uh... Uh, Gaunts, yes. <laughs> they, they are gone. They've been fried, cooked, uh, and destroyed by the Hellhounds. Good work from them in this game. They've burnt out a lot of stuff. Remember, it's it's two squads of 20, plus mm. all the replacements. You've burnt through about 55, 60 models this game. Uh, then across here, this was Malkador, firepower, yep. knocking me down to 11 wounds left. So damage taken from the Rogaldorn, I think. From the Rogaldorn as well, but not quite destroying these. They are tough. It's been a bizarre one. We have still not destroyed one of Paul's tanks in this game. We should have plenty of times. The opportunities have been there every single turn in this game. Yeah. Uh, but Turning Monsters. I completely agree. Turning Monsters have not destroyed stuff. We're going to go on to the. Three Monsters. Yeah. Because you've got the third one over there. Third one over there. Yeah, struggled. I, honestly, it's been, a, it's been a funny one. But. but Despite that, we have withstood a lot of stuff that's been mm. thrown at us by the guard, so we still have units on the board. We'll calculate points. This is going to be a close one. I reckon the guard have the advantage. They may well be picking up more points towards the end of the game. We'll give you an update on the score. So, end of turn, potentially end of game, because I reckon uh, it's like a checkmate move here that Tyrions cannot win this game. Uh, so, points coming through, first of all. Ten points for primaries, but a recovery from the guard at mid-game onwards. Yep. Five points... For three, point, three points for engagement all fronts, first of all. Yeah. Five points for overwhelming force. Overwhelming force. Uh, that took Paul to 48 points to 47. Very, very close. But it's the final turn of the game where uh, the decision is going to be made. Uh, and that is that we come around to my turn. I'll just get five points only and then whatever secondaries I draw. Yeah. At the end of the battle, realistically, I'll hold this one. And doubtful about the others, right? So we're looking at 10 points in total. Whereas Paul is very likely to pick up his 10 points at the end of his turn, because you're going to have a turn to play with, manoeuvre, yeah. fight, and so on, and then 25 points at the end of the battle. So my 10 to Paul's 25. There's nothing I can do. And I can't. On top. 
and secondaries on top. I can't do anything about this. If I destroy those entirely, you just run the infantry across yep. and take that one. Uh, I've got a real fight on my hands if we're going to try and dislodge those two vehicles uh, from there. I was going to say I haven't resolved that combat. <laughs> oh, no, you haven't. <laughs> and I, I, would, I would call out a stratagem as well. Yeah, yeah. You did, yeah. <laughs> so we'll resolve this quick, just on game. Yeah, yeah. Well, this might change a little bit. Four attacks, <laughs> need, four attacks need threes. Re-rolling the hit roll for the stratagem, which yep. helps. Trying to wound on twos, because oh, yeah. we're yeah. so badly wounded. Yeah, yeah. Three make it through at minus three. So fives. Yes. Oh! Block two. two. I mean, come on. What was damage again? <laughs> damage would have been d6 plus one. Eight, I'm on six. No, oh, and I can't come on real. Two wounds. Well, there you go. So the result still stands. That was my chance of perhaps blowing it up. It detonates. And I've really got a good, strong, stronger position on that objective, but it's not going to happen. All right, that's the last gasp from this tyranny force. We have burnt ourselves out playing against this guard army, but well done. Solid stuff. I mean, really, good survival. I'm not going to lie. I I was shocked the Malkador survived. Yes. Um, that was just extremely unlucky. Um... If, and we were discussing it off camera previously. Had the Malkador died, you had then had soft targets to aim at, which yes. would have meant that you were then I kept start... being directed towards that every turn, yeah. whereas I could have moved on to other stuff. Exactly that. Yes, he was the strong link in the chain. And the Rogue of Dawn did its work as well. <laughs> I would imagine there are some chuckling tech priests on this table. <laughs> All right, final. We, don't, we won't give you a final score. Paul's going to be pretty much ahead by about. 10 to 15 points yeah. in total, so it'll be a victory. Uh, but a tight run battle uh, throughout the game here. A good a good encounter between these two forces. They really did lock horns for most of this game. Uh, and a good, fun enough battle. But in the end, the Ash Militarum, uh, their defiance, their resilience. With so, legends. Encourage, we encourage you to use legends. <laughs> yeah, so we had, we had good fun with the legends in this game as well. With a slight dash of... Halo flavour as well. Yes. <laughs> we'll talk about units of the game next to both sides. Yeah, lots of options for the guard. As honourable mention to the two Hellhounds. Really good yeah. solid work from them. Very, very good units for having on the blanks. A um, number of units did well, but it's going to be a joint unit of the game between the two main battle tanks here, yeah. the Malkador and the Rogal Dawn. Then for the Tyranids, I just can't give it to these. They struggled this game to get really their did. hits, wounds and damage. So I'm going to give it to... The Swarm Lord was Swarm Lord was the one that held on the longest. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Norn Assimilator took a lot of firepower. But it died, and that's the problem. <laughs> yes. But then again, that's because I, I was aiming it first. I'm painting up the emissary for my Leviathan army. Now that could get that five plus feel no pain, plus the a four plus invon, which is crucial. It's so yeah. so useful. So that's the option for Leviathan Army. The assimilator it's can be taken down too easily. It's a shame that Games Workshop didn't give an invite. You may well see that change, uh, but it could be years before we see that happen. That's and units. Not, and unfortunately, the points would go up as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's units of the game for both sides. We thank you to our silver level Patreons. That's Jason Martiners, Marcus Olson, Ross Caldwell, and Miniature Matt. Big thanks to them for their support at silver level. For extra videos, do check us out on YouTube channel membership. And a big thank you to Paul for coming along. Thank you for... He's stormed onto James's channel with his, <laughs> with his guard, and now he's graced the channel here with his Astrum and the Tyrant Force. Uh, we gave permission for Legends, uh, and that's what he's brought along. Great to see the variety of stuff. I'm not sure if I'll get that permission next time round. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. Plenty of options uh, for him to call upon. He's got a diverse range uh, of Astrum and the Tyrant, but the, he's led the guard to victory, so well done. Hoorah for the guard. Hoorah. Keep a lookout for more battle reports on the channel and on membership. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.